What's up guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. As you can tell, we're getting a new hood and front bumper for the Stang. That's right, we got the uh, GT500 13, 14 conversion kit, not the kit. We just kind of like got the essential parts so we can throw the bumper on and it wouldn't fall off. That's all we got. And then we got the mongoose hood. The reason I'm super excited is because this hood was one, very expensive and two, took like six months to get here. And it's finally here. We're gonna throw it on and we're gonna drive this car to get painted. So she's all matched up and, and pretty and colorful again. So I'm very excited about that. My buddy's on his way right now to uh, to help me put it on there. The hood's not very heavy. It's actually pretty light. It's just wide and difficult to install. Now I'm gonna quickly show you guys it before we throw it on the car. All right, so this is the box that the hood came in. There's our hood. Now, for those of you that don't know, the Mongoose hood is very similar to like the Stalker 2 hood. It's got that hood vent in it as well. I think it's just a little bit more rounded and a little bit more pretty got three layers i think the, the stalker 2 only has two layers the mongoose hood has a three layer hood uh if that makes any sense i'll once it's on the car i'll be able to show you a little bit better uh for starts here's the bumper right this is the 2013 to 14 gt500 front bumper now because the mustang is a 13 or i mean an 11 to 12 you're required to get these brackets. If you don't get these brackets, then the bumper sags. So got the brackets and the brackets mount like right about here and here. And that's what keeps the bumper from falling down. We got these little, cool little lights. All right, so these lights are hella bright. I think on the box it says 55K, 5500K. I don't know what that means. It's pure white apparently, according to this. Anyways, these are supposed to be hecka bright and it'll look real nice right in there. Now the GTCS California Special does have like special fog light. The wiring harness should be plug and play for the GT500. If it's not a California Special, you might have to like extend like extra wiring soldered on there, or I'm sure they make like an extension kit for the normal fog lights that are just on the GTs. But because there's a GT, we have the GTCS, I believe it's just plug and play. And that'll make life 10 times easier. With all that being said, I don't think I missed anything. If I did, it'll appear later. I'm gonna go ahead and freaking start putting that on. He's about here, so I'll take this off real quick. We'll put the new one on. It'll look nice. So excited. <laughs> All right guys, new day, new dollar, new something. We're gonna take off the bumper today. Um, I'm pretty sure all we need is an eight and a 10. We got our little brackets here that are going to uh, support our new bumper on there. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and start taking this apart. Um, I didn't look too far into it, so I don't really know what we have to take off in order to get it all the way off. So let's go ahead and start that. I don't have the new one that's gonna go on there, so it's gonna kinda of look just like this and look kinda of ugly. All right, so that's done. Got a bolt here, a bolt here. Got some uh, plastic connector thing, hooky things there. I think we've got some bolts that are gonna come in through here or something like that. But I think that's it. Unless it's connected to like a splash shield underneath, then um, that'll be a little bit difficult to get to. These are the lights I was talking about, how our, our wiring harness goes right down to our fog lights down here. So on the normal uh, GTs, you're gonna have to get like a, an extension kit, but because it's a GTCS, the wiring harness already has that extension here to go into the fog lights. So that should be, make that easy, if I can even disconnect it. All right, that's it, that's the end of the video. Just leave it just like that. So we hit a slight hiccup here. Because we have uh, the intercooler here, 
um, these plastic bits of where our brackets are supposed to go to hold the bumper up have tubes. <laughs> so we have to find a way to like either remove these or, or something on how this bracket is gonna fit like right here when that's in the way. All right, so we went ahead, got this bad boy out uh, for the supercharger. How'd it go? All right, so we went in like that, pulled it out, had to loosen up the uh, brackets to the intercooler to get enough room to pull it out. Now I'm kind of just hoping that this slides nice and easily in here. It doesn't. <laughs> there we go. Like a glove. I don't know how we're gonna do this side just because of how this coolant line goes through. Make a hole just like this for this grommet um, out of our new bracket that needs to sit here because clearly the bracket cannot phase through the hose there. At least we got that side in. So the final product, basically I had to cut this giant square out to get it to go around this hose here and a little bit off here. And the best part is, is that it slides right in, right? Kind of. Goes in there, lines up with the hose there, and still has just enough touching this intercooler. So I tried to cut off the very minimum as possible, but um, that's it. Now I just gotta find bolts that fit in there. Quick test fit real quick. It looks good. It looks like it might fit, maybe, kind of, hopefully. We gotta find uh, bolts to go here, and here and then bolts to to go into these little things to do the thing the two bolts that go down here too but we'll get there eventually but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and secure these brackets with some bolts and we'll put this thing on for reals just like that it's all done closes <laughs> all right just like that we're gonna go drive it get painted um and then we'll get it back tomorrow and whew, we'll see you guys then all put together and good as new in a sense I'm not gonna be going into detail with all the little hiccups this was a very long process to get to where we are now I think it took about half a year from when we put all the body panels on the hood and the pumper to get it painted to where it's at now so I'll go into detail on the later video on like reviews on, uh, on BMC and whether or not I recommend them uh, and just the different challenges we had uh, throughout the process. But yeah, the, the car is finally back together. It's back on the road and she looks amazing. Again, I'm not gonna go too much in detail uh, about the actual things that I like and don't like. So I'll make a separate video about that. So if you wanna see that, go ahead and subscribe if you want to. It's completely free and you can always change your mind later. And then click that little notification bell so that you find out when exactly I post that video because then you might not know. If you don't do that, you don't know. But anyway guys, that's gonna be it for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I know this video was a very long coming video. It, it took months to do. So if you could leave a like, that'd be greatly appreciated. If not, it'll grow back. It'll bluff. Uh, but that's gonna be it for this video, guys. We'll see you in the next one.